looking at here? This is the uh, Loomis Display optical engine. We uh, basically see ourselves as the Intel inside or the Qualcomm inside for the wearable display industry. We enable optical engines that enable all types of different form factors of glasses that enable information overlay. So whether it's movies or whether it's uh, basic information overlay, a personal heads-up display, um, you know, you could design all types of different styles, cool styles, contemporary styles, natural looking styles. So show us, um, compare it to my Google Glass. Yes, so uh, what Google's using here is actually a uh, beam splitter technology. Um, and instead of one big beam splitter, which dictates that the larger the virtual image, the larger the cube has to be, you can actually see a direct overlay. We're only uh, about two millimeters thick, even less than two millimeters, because if you look closely over here, we have these beam splitters, not one, but a bunch, you know, four or five embedded inside our optical engine. But when held in front of the eye, as you can see, it's completely see-through. So I could actually blend the information together in my main line of sight, unobtrusively overlay that, and get information constantly remain connected while not being disturbed. I'm wearing them right now, and I actually can see it's, it's right, right straight in the line of sight. Um, Google is, is a little bit up, and so it takes some eye, eye action. But I, So I like being able to see it. It's a little bit more clear, I think. So is this kind of like layer, what layer was trying to do a few years ago? So layer actually enables software that helps you overlay the information. Um, originally starting off they were using uh, the phone as a viewfinder, using the actual screen on the phone as the viewfinder, but uh, systems like layer, other types of augmented reality software could, you know, actually act as a layer on top of what you're viewing here. So, what's, what's the application that you're targeting right now? Um, there's a, you know, whole type of multi- Pick one. Pick one application. Um, personal navigation, you know, might be something that's very simple. Even driving, you know, we know somebody got a ticket for that, but uh, I'm willing to bet within the next couple of years we'll be able to prove that it's actually enhancing driver safety. Instead of looking away from the road and actually looking down at a cartoon and trying to figure out where the arrow is telling you that you need to be going, actually imagine having a simple arrow overlaid over the street telling you exactly where you should be going, where you should be turning. So maybe better precision? Uh, much better precision and much more intuitive, much more simple, you know, less uh, prevent us humans from making, you know, errors. Right now I'm wearing the Loomis glasses and I'm put on a different one. It's like a viewer and it's a little heavy for my face just because it's not the right size for me. But this is amazing. Oh, women's bikinis. Um, sorry, you gave that to me. <laughs> so it, it, this is a great screen. I can actually see you through it. Oh my gosh, I guess you'd have to see it. It's hard for me to describe it. Hang on, we got more stuff coming. Oh, dancing so I could dance with them. Oh, this is a great view. So that's like a virtual hologram. Think about first person shooters or you know, telepresence. Oh my gosh, I love it. Very cool, thank you.